back to my YouTube channel, so don't forget to subscribe my TikTok page. Thank you so much! Hello students, happy learning! Our learning objectives, at the end of the lesson, the students will be able to first, convert units of measurement within English system, meron time inch, foot, yard, and mile, and solve real-life problems involving the conversion of units. Ito po ang kailangan matutunan ng mga grade 7 students in the matatag curriculum for mathematics quarter 2 lesson. Are you ready to learn? Okay, let's start. First, let's define ano nga ba yung English system or ito yung tinatawag natin US system of measurement uses the inch, foot, yard, and mile to measure length. Remember, length is the distance from end to end. The following is a summary of equivalences no, between units of length. Kailangan matandaan po natin ito. Ano-ano ba yung mga conversion factor for length? So, una, meron tayong 12 inches is equal to 1 foot. Yun yung isang ruler natin. Pangalawa, yung 3 feet is equal to 1 yard. Ibig sabihin, tatlong ruler na ito. And also, pwede natin ipakita rin na 36 inches is equal to 1 yard. Tatlong ruler pa rin yun. Kasi 12 inches per ruler. And 5,280 feet is equal to 1 mile. Kapag napakahaba na yung ating kinukuhanan ng length. Okay. Next, meron tayong tinatawag na unit fraction. Para saan to kapag... Yung isang unit, kinoconvert natin sa iba pang unit. Gagamit tayo yung unit fraction. Saan nang galing ito? Nang galing po sa mga conversion factor natin. So, ibig sabihin niyan, ano yung conversion na, na gagamit tayo? Let's start with 12 inches is equal to 1 foot. Ibig sabihin nito, kapag unit fraction, yung denominator mo or numerator merong 1 doon. Kaya nga siya unit referring to 1. Kaya 12 inches over 1 foot. Yan yung ating... Then, pwede natin balik na rin na 1 foot over 12 inches. Basta kailangan, nakadepende yun kung ano yung given units mo. Para makancel mamaya yun, malalaman nyo. Pangalawa, yung ating 3 feet is equal to 1 yard, pwede natin isulat as a unit fraction, 3 feet over 1 yard. Or, pwede balik na rin mo, 1 yard over 3 feet. Okay, next is equal to 36 inches over 1 yard. Or, balik na rin mo, 1 yard over 36 inches. And last, we have 5,280 feet over 1 mile or pag binalitad mo naman, 1 mile over 5,280 feet. Yan yung mga unit fraction na kailangan natin para makapag-convert tayo mamaya. Kailangan tandaan po natin ito. Next, eto na tayo, magko-convert na tayo ng length. First, convert 8 feet to inches. For the solution, isulat mo sa equation. 8 feet is equal to blank inches. Gaano kaya kahaba ito kapag yung 8 feet kinonvert mo sa inches? So, solution natin, yan yung magsaset up tayo ng pattern. Isulat mo yung given units mo. Ito yon yung 8 feet, yung number given units. Pangalawa, mag-iisip ka or maghahanap ka ng, ng unit fraction na kung saan nagaling sila kon sa conversion na Ilalagay mo sa parenthesis ngayon. Pero ano kaya yung fraction na yon? Eto, tignan natin sa unit fraction. Alin dyan ang pipiliin ko? Eto lang. Alin dyan yung merong feet papunta ng inches. Pero yung kanyang unit na feet dapat ay nasa denominator. Kaya pipiliin natin dyan is yung 12 inches over 1 foot. Bakit? Para makancel mo ngayon yung parehas na unit na feet. Hindi pwedeng pagbalik ta rin yung 1 foot over 12 inches kasi hindi pwedeng ma-cancel yun. Kaya dapat nasa denominator siya para ma-cancel mo yung the same feet unit. Then, i-multiply mo ngayon yan. Kapag ang denominator mo sa fraction is 1, okay, uh, nakasimplified na siya as 8 times 12 inches na lang yun. And the answer is 96 inches. Ibig sabihin, yan yung number equivalent units natin. Gaano katumb ang katumbas ng 8 feet? We have 96 inches yard. Next, number two. How many feet are there in 120 inches? First, i-rewrite natin sa equation. 120 inch is equal to blank foot. And then, set a pattern. Yan yung ating number given units. Ibig sabihin yan, from inches, pupunta ka ng aning unit, feet. Yun yung ating hahanapin doon sa unit fraction mo. So, yan yung ilalagay sa parenthesis. Ano kaya dyan? 
Tignan natin, yung feet papunta ng inches, uh, yung inches papunta ng feet. Ibig sabihin, yung inches dyan na pipiliin mo na sa denominator. So that is 1 foot over 12 inches. Yan yung ating ilalagay sa parenthesis. For you can now cancel the same unit. Kailangan yung inches nasa denominator. Tandaan yun. Cancel, cancel, and then 1 times 120, 120 yun. And 120 feet divided by 12 is equal to 10 feet. Ibig sabihin, yan na po yung ating number equivalent units. Ni 120 inches, ilan ngayon ang atumbas sa feet? That is equal to 10 feet. Okay, next number 3. Convert 144 inches to yarns. Rewrite the equation. And then, set up pattern agad. Ibig sabihin yan, ano yung aking pipiliin unit fraction na kung saan yung inches papunta si yard pero yung inches doon na sa denominator mo. Yan yung ilalagay sa parenthesis. Tignan ulit dati sa unit fraction. Alin dito sa unit fraction? Yun yung 1 yard over 36 inches. Okay, so yan yung ating ilalagay. For you can now cancel the same unit, inches, inches. Kailangan pag nagka-cancel ka, yung isa nasa denominator, ha? hindi pwede sa taas. Bawal yun. Okay, then, i-multiply mo yung 1 times 144. Kaya 144 yards yun. I-divide mo by 36 kasi nasa denominator yung 36. And the answer is 4 yards. Yan ngayon yung ating number equivalent units. Ilan ang katumbas si 144 inches is 4 yards. Next, number four. How many inches are there in 3.5 yards? So first, si rewrite the equation. Kailang ma-master natin ito. Set a pattern. Yan yung ating number given units, yard. Ibig sabihin, from yards going to inches. Yan yung ilalagay natin na pipiliin doon sa ating unit fraction. Alin kaya dyan? Yung yards kailangan nasa denominator. Kasi yung inches nasa numerator siya. Yun yung hinahanap mo. So, therefore, the unit fraction is 36 inches over 1 yard. Para makancel natin, kailangan nasa denominator yung laging kinakancel natin. At yung isa yung given mo, units. Kaya cancel the same unit yards and then 36 times 3.5 yards. I mean, 3.5 na lang kasi nakancel na yung yard. That is equal to 126 inches. Therefore, yan na yung ating number equivalent units. Ilal ang katumbas si 3.5 yards equals to 126 inches. So, next number 5, convert 9.1 yards to feet. Okay, rewrite the equation. Kailangan magiging magaling, ma-master ninyo ito. Tapos, set up pattern agad. Yan yung ating given units. From yards, papunta ng aling unit, feet. Ibig sabihin, hahanap tayo ng unit fraction. Lagay ka ng parenthesis. Ano kaya ilalagay ko sa parenthesis? Yun yung ating merong yards sa denominator at merong numerator na feet. And that is 3 feet over 1 yard. Okay, so then set up and then cancel the same unit yards. And then multiply mo yung 9.1 times 3 feet. And that is simply equal to 27.3 feet. Yan na ngayon yung ating number equivalent units. Ilan ang katubas si 9.1 yards sa feet? That is equal to 27.3. So ganun lang po kung paano convert. And for the next number 6, how many yards are there in 36.6 feet? Okay, then, sulat natin sa solution, the equation, and then set up pattern. Yan yung ating given units, fit to yard. Ibig sabihin yan, ano yung aking pipiliin na ilalagay sa parenthesis na unit fraction? Mahanap tayo sa table of units. The unit fraction use is, kailangan yung fit na sa denominator. Yard na sa numerator, that is 1 yard over 3 feet. Then, iset up mo na siya. Then, cancel mo yung unit na fit. And then, yung natira, 1 times 36.6, 36.6 yun. And, i-divide mo by 3. Kaya nga, that is equal to how many yards? 12.2 yards. Ibig sabihin, yan na nga yung number equivalent units. Ni 36.6 feet, ilan na yun yung yards na? That is 12.2 yards. Okay, next number 7. Convert 2 miles to feet. Okay, so first, rewrite the equation natin. And... From mile to feet, okay, copy mo yung ating set up pattern, number given units. Mag-iisip tayo ng unit fraction na kailangan yung denominator mo, miles. Tapos yung numerator mo, feet. Ibig sabihin, lagay tayo ng parenthesis. Balikan natin yung table of units fraction. Alin dyan yung merong mile na denominator? Feet yung nasa taas numerator, that is 5,280 feet. Over 1 mile. Yan yung ilalagay mo dyan. Hindi pwede magbaliktad yan. 
Kasi pag binaliktad mo yan, hindi makakancel yung mile. Okay, kaya cancel mo yung mile, mile, and then yung natira, 2 times 5,280 feet is equal to 10,560 feet. Yan yung ating number equivalent unit. So, ilan yung katumbas ni 2 miles sa feet? That is 10,560 feet. Okay, next number 8. How many miles are there in 13,200 feet? Rewrite the equation. Kailangan maging magaling sa pag -re rewrite ng equation. And then, yan yung ating given unit sa setup pattern. Then, think of a unit fraction where you can put in the parentheses and kailangan yung feet nasa denominator kasi papunta ka ng miles. Alin dyan? That is 1 mile over 5,280 feet. Hindi pwedeng balikta rin yan kasi hindi makakancel yung feet. Okay, cancel mo yung feet. And then, yung natira 1 times 13,200 mile, yan na yung ating i-divide by 5,280. And that is how many mile? That is 2.5 mile. Okay, yan yung ating number equivalent units. Gaano, ka to, gaano kahaba ito? 13,200 feet is how many mile? 2.5. Okay, next for the last number for conversion for length, 1.5 miles, 2 inches. I rewrite natin sa equation and then tignan natin. Okay, from mile, papunta ka ng inches. Tignan natin yung ating setup pattern. Yung unit fraction mo, meron pa po ba tayo papuntang isang direct or isang conversion unit of fraction lang? Wala, di ba? Ibig sabihin yan, magdadalawang unit fraction ka para makapunta ka dun sa inches. Parang sasakyan lang dyan, di ba? Magdadalawang rides ka. Ibig sabihin yan, hanapin mo muna yung merong miles kasi yung given units mo is mile. Yung merong mile dyan sa denominator. Yun yung ating 5,280 feet over 1 mile. Hindi pwede yung 1 mile kasi nga, hindi mo makakancel yung mile doon. Kaya dapat yung mile nasa denominator. And yan yung ating ilalagay sa parenthesis. For you can now cancel the same mile unit, yung natira dyan, i-multiply mo. 1.5 times 5,280 feet is equal to 7,920 feet. Okay, so ang tanong dyan, nakarating ka na ba sa inches? Di ba? Hindi pa. Ibig sabihin, isa pang conversion unit fraction na kakailanganin natin para makatawid ka doon sa papunta mo, papupuntahan mo ang inches. So, solution ulit, copy mo yung ating 7,920 feet, tapos gagawin mo siyang inches. So, ibig sabihin niyan, ano yung aking unit fraction na kung saan yung denominator mo ay nasa, uh, ay merong feet at yung inches nasa numerator. Yan yung ating 12 inches over 1 foot para makancel mo siya. Okay, then cancel mo yung foot. Then, yung natira dyan, i-multiply mo. 12 times 7,920 inches. Ilan ngayon yun? That is equal to 95,040 inches. So, yan ngayon yung katumbas ni 1.5 miles sa inches. So, ganun lang po. Kapag hindi siya pwede, magto to conversion unit fraction tayo. Pag walang direct. Okay, next. For that, let's test your understanding on the lesson. You're going to answer question 1. Ready? Your answer is okay. Very good. The answer is letter B, one point zero five feet. Because remember, yung bicep niya is the size is twelve point six inches. Papunta siya ng feet. So ang ginamit siya yung twelve inches is equal to one foot. So ibig sabihin din ba yung siya? Ginamit yung one foot over twelve inches. Kaya naging one point zero five feet. Okay. Next number two. Ready? Okay, the answer is letter. Okay, letter C, 9.3 feet. Okay, remember the height of a ring kung saan naglalaro si Kim T, yung is 3.1 yards. Gaano kataas yun kapag kinonvert sa feet? And the unit fraction used is 3 feet over 1 yard. Para ma-multiply siya, makancel yung yards. Kaya 3.1 times 3, kaya 9.3 yun. Okay, for the last one, ready? Okay, the answer is letter D, 5.5 miles. Bakit? Kasi nga, remember, the highest mountain in the world is Mount Everest. And yung height niya is 29,035 feet. Iko-convert mo yon sa miles. Okay, so kaya nga, ang ginamit dyan is dinivide siya by 5,280 feet. Ang ginamit dyan, 1 mile over 5,280 feet. 
Okay, so yan yung ating sagot. Okay, so with that, copy your assignment. You're going to convert the following unit of English system. Copy and answer with solution na on one whole sheet of paper. Ready? Okay, time's up. So therefore, happy learning everyone. And good luck everyone. Bye-bye.